come in. Hey, do you want to go get some pizza? I'd love to punch her out my schedule, which is not working out. Don't you know about Rucker's Schedule Planner? There's a video that shows you how to use it. Students can use Rucker's Schedule Planner to help them build their academic schedule. The first step in planning any schedule is to consult with your academic advisor. Your academic advisor can answer questions and help make sure that you're taking the right courses to fill your requirements. Rutgers Degree Navigator is another great way to determine courses that you need to take and to help you plan your schedule. Working with your academic advisor and with Degree Navigator, create a list of courses that you would like to take in the upcoming semester. It's a good idea to write down the course names and course numbers. Make sure that you have completed the prerequisites for all the courses that you would like to take. Rutgers Schedule Planner does not access your Rutgers records and cannot tell whether or not you've completed prerequisites for courses. Rutgers Schedule Planner will let you add any course to your schedule. However, once you go to register for that course, web registration won't let you register unless you have the prerequisite. Let's log on to Rutgers Schedule Planner. If you didn't write down the link, you can either get to Rutgers Schedule Planner from my.ruckers.edu, or you can simply Google it. I use Google to find a lot of things at Rutgers. I just put Rutgers in first and then Schedule Planner, and you'll see it comes right up. Next, log in with your NetID and password. You'll want to go to the Build a Schedule Planner, and then click on the appropriate semester that you want to register for. Make sure that you have New Brunswick selected from the drop-down menu and undergraduate. Now you can work on your schedule. The first courses we're going to add to our schedule are General Biology 2, 116, and the Lab 117. To access these courses, we use the drop-down menu and we look for 119 Biological Sciences. Click the search button. Now we simply click the plus signs next to Biology 2, 116, and the Biology Lab 117 to add them to our schedule. Next, we're going to add our Pre-Calc Part 2 course. We go to 640 Math on the drop-down menu, click the search function, go down and find Pre-Calc 2, and just click on the plus sign to add it to our schedule. It's that simple. Now we'll add Intro to Human Ecology and Economics People in the Environment. Now I want to add a burn seminar. And the burn seminar is a little tricky in that the sections have different topics. And you're going to want to make sure you take a topic that interests you. So I can look at the burn seminars and I see there's one taught under School 11. That would be School of Environmental and Biological Sciences faculty. And there's one taught under 01. That would be Faculty of Arts and Sciences. If I click on the arrow to the left of the plus sign, it will show me all the sections that are taught and it'll tell me the actual names and topics in those sections. And we can do the same thing for the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences section. Unfortunately, it won't let me add specific sections from this page, but we'll show you how to do that in a minute. Right, the burn seminars that I'm interested in taking are taught by the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences. So I'm going to add that to my schedule. Now I can select my sections by either clicking on the Select Sections box down here or on the top tab that lets me select sections. Either one will do it. So you can see set, sections are listed for all the different courses I currently have on my planner. I'm interested in taking food-oriented burn seminars. So I'm going to check off specific sections. The first thing I'm going to do is a broad base uncheck. When I do that, this dialog box pops up that says your last action leads to no valid schedule. Please revert it and try some other options. Well, of course my last action leads to no valid schedules because I just told it I didn't want to take any of those sections. We can fix that. We just need to select some sections now. Now I'm going to go down and check off the sections that I'm interested in taking. Now that my sections are chosen for the burn seminar, I'm going to come over here and list some campus preferences and time preferences. 
So if I don't, for example, want to take courses on Bush and Livingston campus, I can click this little arrow next to campus and just uncheck Bush and Livingston. I'd really rather not take courses on Friday either. So let me uncheck Friday. Notice when I checked off that I didn't want to take courses on Friday, it says that my last action leads to no valid schedule. That means I've got to make some changes. I think I'd rather use the bus every once in a while and travel to Livingston or Bush and still have my Fridays free. This will let me get a part-time job. But I'm going to go over here and make sure that Cook Douglas is my preferred campus. Now I can click on build schedules at the bottom or I can use the tab on the top. You can look at either a calendar view or a list view that gives you the sections and the times. Notice that the campuses are color coded. You can cycle through the schedules and if you find one that you particularly like, you can save it. You'll be able to come back and look at your saved schedules even if you change classes in a subsequent use of Schedule Planner. I'm conveniently making this video before registration, so no classes are closed. Once you actually start registering, closed classes will be a problem and make your scheduling a little bit more difficult. We can go back to our Select Sections page and also specify that we only want to look for open sections. When it's already registered, we can simply go back into Schedule Planner, click on our Save Schedules, choose our favorite schedule, then just click Register to connect to WebReg and register for courses. That was easy.